Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a chance to see a comet over the next uh, few weeks or so. This one called Comet 12P Pons Brooks. These are two guys that discovered this comet. Some details about that. It's a pretty large comet, bigger than the Mount Everest, as a matter of fact. It appears only about every 71 years, so unless you're really, really young, we have a big advancement in uh, human longevity. Probably the only chance we have to see it in our lifetimes. And it's an interesting shape when it transforms sometimes. It does transform into a horseshoe shape at times, giving it some interesting nicknames. Some people call it the Devil's Comet. I've heard it called the Millennial Falcon Comet, like that ship, the spaceship that uh, Han Solo used back in the original Star Wars movies. And some astronomers suggest it could actually be volcanic. That's why it's causing those flare-ups. That's what you want to know is uh, how do you do this thing. We want to go to a dark location, obviously, allow your eyes to adjust. Now look to the west-northwest with this. And you want to look for the planet Jupiter. That's going to be the brightest object in the western sky, probably in just about the whole sky since Venus is invisible right now, other than the moon, obviously. And the cow's going to be to the right and somewhat below Jupiter, but we'll be moving closer to the planet with time, and around the 7th, they'll be just underneath it. Now, as far as timing this, the good news is this will be an evening event. You don't have to stay up late to see this. It will be an evening event, but by about 10 o'clock, the cow will be dropping below the horizon. So, uh, best times to view this. Cow is going to be getting brighter as we head into March and April. It actually reaches its, its peak intensity probably around April 20th. Increasing moon phase, however, may dim the cow at times to the 25th. We're heading toward the full moon. Full moon is actually on the 25th. Conditions will improve substantially, though, as we head toward the 26th, 27th through the end of the month. Since the moon will be fairly bright, but it's getting below the horizon when the comet's visible, so it'll help blocking out the sky as well. So those conditions, basically late March, about the first part of April, look to be the best ones. As we head toward the 7th of April, though, we're getting a lot brighter now. The days are getting a lot longer. Nights are getting a lot shorter, so we'll be fighting the twilight after about April 7th. As we head toward about April 15th or 16th, it'll be below the horizon. It's only visible in the southern hemisphere. So if you have a chance, go out and check out one of nature's uh, finest shows.